Canadian energy stocks took it on the chin one day after Albertans opted to reset their political landscape. The industry is already struggling with low oil prices and stalled pipelines. This is one more element of uncertainty. The fear is that historic election results may stall investment in the oil patch, which is counting on more than $500 billion in spending over the next three decades. The political uncertainty comes at a time when the oil price pullback has prompted many Alberta energy producers to slash jobs, cut back on drilling and press pause on new spending. Premier-elect Rachel Notley campaigned to review the province's royalty structure and boost corporate taxes. And she's also said she won't champion either the Keystone XL or Northern Gateway Pipeline proposals, which had her predecessor's support. My message is that I look forward to, to working collaboratively with all job creators in Alberta. Uh, I've always been very committed to ensuring that we maintain a competitive economic environment here and a competitive investment environment. Notley's also pledged to toughen up the province's climate change policies. There are worries that sweeping changes will harm Alberta's reputation for being Canada's most business-friendly province. For more on how petroleum producers are feeling about this historic shift, Jeff Gullin, Vice President of Communications with the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So let's start with uh, the reassurance that you just heard, because the market reaction today was quite severe. Uh, clearly, fear, uncertainty, however you want to portray it. Uh, the Premier-elect saying, it, I'm, I'm not here to, to cut the knees out from under business. Are you reassured? Well, we are very reassured that I think we share the same priorities as the new Alberta Premier, that jobs are the job number one uh, to protect in this province and to maintain an attractive business climate. So we look forward to working with her and her government in the days ahead to make sure that that is our priority. And so what do you want to hear from her? Uh, royalty hikes are on the table. What kind of uh, clarity do you want? How quickly do you want it? Uh, and what do your members fear about that? Well, it has been a very volatile year and challenging year for the oil and gas industry. And so what we would like to look forward is what is the certainty that we can have going forward to protect the jobs that we've got in the oil patch and to attract the investment needed to grow the industry. So when we sit down with her in the days ahead, there are really two things that we look at that are important to do that. One is increasing market access, building the transportation infrastructure needed to move Canada's oil and gas to new markets. And the second is around fiscal certainty. What is the policy or policies that the government might bring into play that could Im impact our ability to attract investment? So really, those are our two priorities. So we've obviously seen some challenges for the industry, not least the falling price of oil. Uh, in terms of the investment climate, what, how does it feel now versus, say, five years ago? And what are you hoping to, to see done to improve that? Well, the sun came up today, and it will, it will go down today and come up again tomorrow. And it's very important that our industry have some degree of stability in what has been an extremely challenging year. You know, when we look at the revenues for our, our industry from coast to coast, we expect to be down by $50 billion this year. You know, when you look at that in context, that is more revenue than the entire mining industry in Canada mm -hmm. generates. So it's a very, very significant drop in revenue. That obviously has an impact on the Alberta budget and all Albertans feel the impact of that. So as we work with the new Alberta government, we look forward to, to policies that will help to make sure that this is a great place to create jobs, protect jobs, and make future investments. Will any change in the corporate tax regime affect uh, your members or the investment climate for your members? Well, it's a very challenging time for our members. Uh, the, as you mentioned, the number of wells uh, being drilled this year has been cut in half. Uh, capital investment has been cut by more than a third, more than $25 billion. A lot of activity is slowing down. So there will be some members uh, in our association that will have to look at what activity can they have. Can they drill more wells? Can they hire more service crews? That has a ripple effect across the Alberta economy as well as across the Canadian economy. So we want to make sure that what we've got is a stable place to get people working. And, and as uh, Premier Notley said, we are one of the major job creators, not only in Alberta, but in Canada. So we have a responsibility to have a good investment climate here. One of the biggest challenges, of course, for the producers in Alberta uh, is that your, your petroleum is locked in. You can't get it to the markets that we need to get it to uh, if you want to sell it. We've heard that this is a premier who will not be as strong a supporter of pipelines as, uh, as others might have been or predecessor was. How do you respond to the, kind of that changing landscape and what does it mean for folks who are trying to get their oil to market? Well, what we heard from the new Alberta Premier throughout the campaign was that she does support the development of new pipelines, both east 
and west, and it is our view that all of these pipelines are needed. Now, she might not support every project, but I think we all recognize that it is very important if we're going to develop this resource, a resource that has, adds economic value back to all Albertans and across Canada, that it's important that we get it to new, more, new markets. So we'll work with her on finding what are the right pipeline routes, what are the right projects to support, and whether she personally gets behind them or acknowledges that the industry needs to be able to get to those markets. We look forward to working with her on that. So she mentioned the job creators. Obviously, there's a single biggest job creator in this province uh, of Alberta, and that is the, uh, the resource sector. Uh, there's a lot of talk about diversifying away from it. Does that make you nervous that there may be kind of focus and investment and policy directed away from this sector, which is, after all, still the engine of the economy? Well, I think it is important. I think all Albertans recognize that uh, oil and gas is a volatile industry. It is the major contributor to the Alberta economy. So we need to make sure that it stays healthy. Adding new jobs, growing new sectors is wonderful. But at the end of the day, oil and gas is here for many decades. And it's important that we have that stable climate so we can continue to grow our industry, protect the jobs that we have now, and more importantly, grow more jobs for the future. All right, Jeff, great to have you with us. Thank you very much. Jeff Golan, VP Communications at CAP.